Hello everyone. Welcome to High School AP Biology, the Immune System Cram Course. Today I am going to talk about skin. If you have not done so already, um, we have a mobile app designated for this course and it's called AP Biology, the Immune System Study App. In this uh, mobile application, we have lectures, flashcards, and quizzes. The course is completely free, so you can download the app whenever you want, free of charge, and it is available on both um, iPhone and Android. So let's talk about what is skin and what its function in our body. So skin is basically the first protection layer of our immune system. It is very similar to what shrink wrap's functions on protecting food, which is to keep bad things out. So skin is also the same. It keeps bad things to getting into our body, such as bacteria and other microorganisms. Um, it also has a function of preventing water loss of the body, and it also regulates our body temperature. So within the skin we have something called the sweat glands. So well what sweat gland does is to expel something called sweat. Like when you do exercise um, you got some water or waterish liquid that expels out from your body it, it makes you having a sticky feeling right so what sweat gland does well the sweat glands helps the immune system by providing a low pH environment on the skin surface which in turn helps killing microorganisms so and also within the sweat this the, the sticky uh, water after you, let's say you exercise, um, it contains enzymes known as the lysozyme, um, which it also helps to take down the bacteria cell walls so that um, the microorganisms can be killed uh, with the low pH environment provided by the sweat. So, in a very general kind of sense, there are two primary skin layers. So, and then we're gonna talk about one skin layer in very, very detail in this lecture. Um, so, there are the two primary skin layers, and one is called the epidermis, and the other one is called the dermis. We'll look at both of these more thoroughly um, uh, later in this course. So, the first one that I'm going to talk about is the epidermis. So, what is the epidermis? Well, the epidermis is the outermost layer of the skin, and its purpose is to act as a protective barrier which helps in keeping water in and preventing microorganisms from entering into your body. So, the epidermis, when breaking it down into um, sub-layers, um, it can be subdivided into five different layers. And uh, as you can see in the slides here, are the layers. So it will be the stratum corneum, the stratum lucidum, 
which uh, this layer only is found in your palms and in your soles, um, the stratum granulosum, the stratum spinosum, and the last one is the stratum germinativum, also called the stratum basal. So let's go into these layers one by one. The stratum corneum is the outermost layer of the epidermis in which cells are constantly being replaced in this layer um, since it has the most contact to the, uh, to the outside environment and therefore it is constantly being injured and worn. The next layer is the, uh, the stratum lucidum which is basically uh, specifically found in your palms and soles. So it is a thin layer of dead skin cells and its sole purpose is to provide a very very hard barrier um, against the exterior factors. In the stratum granulosum um, the cells inside this layer secretes what they call the laminar bodies, which is bodies that contains lipids and proteins into the extracellular space. This helps by contributing to the skin's barrier properties. Now the stratum spinosum is uh, a layer um, known for synthesizing fibrillar proteins. And the last layer, the stratum germinativum, is the innermost skin layer of the epidermis and its purpose is to regenerate and reproduce new skin cells for the epidermis. Now the dermis, which is the other primary layer of the skin, um, consists of connective tissues and its purpose in regards of the of the skin is to cushion the body from stress and strain. I'm not uh, describing any more with regarding to the dermis because um, it is not as relevant to the immune system. This concludes our lecture. Thank you for your listening. Remember, like us or subscribe to our channel for more updates on our lecture materials. Also, download our free app for your iPhone or Android if you have not already done so for flashcards and quizzes that are related to this lecture. Also check out our website um, as shown in our video description on YouTube for apps and lectures for other units. Thank you. Bye-bye.